morning happy new year day so i am going to try and film another what i eat in a day video since i don't have to work today because that's the easiest days to film them and so this morning i'm having something i actually have very frequently so what i do is i just use my spoon to chop up a banana and i top it with some of my homemade granola which at some point in January I'm going to film a little recipe or tutorial or whatever on how I make this. It's really easy. And then I just put some soy milk on top so it's like my own little healthy vegan cereal. So I've already got my bananas chopped up. I'm just going to add some of this granola. And that's going to be my breakfast. I've already drank like half of like stadium sized cup of water I need to finish the other half. This past couple days I've not been good about drinking water and I need to be better about that because I've just been like busy or on the run and just I haven't drank water very well so back on that today and I'll probably have some coffee after I finish my water. Right now we're using, let me show you, this is the kind we're using, the BJ's brand. So the BJ's in-house brand is called Wesley, Wesley Farms, and it is organic Peruvian ground coffee. When it's just me and Austin here, I usually get whole beans and grind them myself and I won't even use the coffee maker, I'll usually use like the fresh French press. because. Austin doesn't really drink coffee, but since his mom and grandma are here, we get the pre-ground just because they're drinking it every day, making it by potful. It's way easier. This would not stay super fresh if it was just me in the house, but yeah, it's pretty good coffee. Let me put that back. Let me put this back, and I'm going to eat my breakfast. And I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. So I finished my breakfast. I have finished my water. And I was watching some YouTube videos. Comment question of the day. Who is the YouTuber you've been watching the longest? For me, that would be Michael Buckley. I adore him. And I think he has a new channel. He doesn't post on What the Buck anymore. Um, I don't know, remember the name of the new channel off the top of my head. But I just, I love him. Like everything about him. I love love my Buckley. So yeah, who's the YouTuber you've watched the longest? Let me know down below. So I'm going to get my coffee, which actually the mugs are behind where I have the camera sitting. It's sitting in a cabinet right now. So I'm just going to grab the closest one. Got it. It's a Tim Hortons Christmas mug that Austin got me. I think he was in Michigan or I don't know, somewhere up north. And I'm really excited because I really wanted a Tim Hortons mug. So, coffee. And I'm going to grab the soy milk again. Pour that. I only add a plant based milk to my coffee. I don't do any sweeteners. I've tried. Here, I'm going to show you. I've tried these like silk creamers, they're just way too sweet for me. Um, but Austin's mom really likes these, so we've converted her on one thing, which is nice. But they're way too sweet for me. So, I usually just have soy milk or almond milk or coconut milk or whatever we have in the house. Oh no, I'm all out. Lately, we've just been getting soy milk because, I mean, it's really good in coffee and it's also great to cook with, I find that in our cycling. Yeah, I just think it, it works the best in mashed potatoes, which is really the thing we cook the most on, like, savory that requires milk, so, yeah. The lighting's weird because the window's right here, and then there's, like, nothing right here. But I wanted to check in with you guys, a little update on yesterday. So we made this. 
and it's the Turf Tofurkey Holiday Vegetarian Roasted Gravy, but it's all vegan. It's got the little potato guy there. It says vegan. It doesn't want to focus on it, but anyway. So, I really like the stuffing that comes inside of the roast. I thought that was really good. And the roast itself, I didn't mind. Like, I would probably buy just the roast again, if you can do that. But the gravy was nasty. Not nasty. I mean, it wasn't bad. I ate it. But I have a gravy recipe that I found online. I think it might be like the spruce or it's one of those vegan blog recipe blogs. And it's really good. And Austin also makes a really delicious, um, losing my mind. Where are my words? Mushroom gravy. Ew. I don't know how I just got something sticky on my hand. So Austin makes a really good mushroom gravy. So I think I'm kind of spoiled because we already have two favorite gravy recipes. And this was just like yucky. I wonder what's in it. Hmm. Gravy ingredients. Mm -hmm. So it's water, whole wheat flour, soy sauce, um, canola oil, vegan natural flavors, chicory root fiber, rice flour, onion, carrot, celery, vegan sugar, non-GMO cornstarch, sea salt, onion powder, spices, sunflower oil, um, rosemary extract, tocopherol extract, ascorbic acid dextrose, xanthan gum, and locust bean gum. So I don't know which one of those ingredients was throwing me off, but something, it just made it feel it felt a lot fattier in my mouth than the gravies that we make. And something about it was like, one of the flavors just didn't sit well on my tongue. So I didn't love the gravy. But if you can purchase the roast alone, I would definitely consider purchasing the roast alone. I mean, maybe not immediately. Probably next time we do one of these, I want to try one of the other ones. I think there's like a field roast celebration roast. And um, I think there's a couple different brands. So I'd want to mix it up, but I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to going back to this, but that gravy's nasty. So that's my feelings on that. And I'm probably going to drink my coffee, watch some more YouTube videos, and then maybe get to work on a blog post. I listened to um, the Happier podcast with Gretchen Rubin and her sister, and the other day they did it. 18 for 2018 podcast where it's just like 18 things you really want to do in the new year so I think I might do a blog post uh, in relation to that I did a blog post yesterday about 17 um, highlights of my 2017 so you could check that out if you like it's amandaphenomenon.com and so that'll be the first um, blog post on the page and yeah just trying to get a renewed energy in my YouTube and my blog because I feel like I've really put more energy in my Instagram this year and now I want to put that energy into other things that I really enjoy. I kind of hit a lull in this year where I, would, I just was sitting on the couch a lot and watching TV and not being active and so I want to make an effort to really engage in my hobbies more. Because it's something I wasn't really doing, and especially planning a wedding, I want to share that stuff too. So, this has just been a big old ramble at this point. So, I'm gonna drink my coffee, go watch some more YouTube videos, and yeah, I'll check back in if I have lunch. Sometimes I just don't have lunch. Um, but if I have lunch, I'll check back in then. And if not, you will see me at dinner time. For lunch, I am getting to work on like a cleaning out of the fridge soup. So just a lot of stuff we had sitting around. So like half an onion, red onion, and then two honey nut squash that are like the little ones that look like butternut squash. And then some celery, that's what I've got going in there. Oh, and a couple of carrots from the farmer's market that were on their last leg. Got them cut up and in there. I'm gonna add some sage if it wants to focus, or maybe not. Come on, come on. Why is it doing that? Like, whatever. Now we've got some basil. We've got a little bit of pumpkin puree. That should make it creamy. And then I'll add some 
of my homemade veggie stock, which is what this bag is, just scraps that I throw in the freezer and then I turn into stock once the bag's full. So that's what I got going on right now. So I just loaded up the soup with some seasoning. So I have some salt and pepper, and then this is like the three I just put on basically everything. Some granulated onion, garlic powder, and paprika. And I added a little bit of turmeric because ugh, you can hardly even taste turmeric. Well, might as well add it for some health benefits. Pinch of ginger, a little bit of dill, and just a teeny tiny sprinkle of tarragon. So my soup is looking pretty good. I added my homemade stock. It's like a container and a half. They're like 16 ounce containers, I believe. It looks really good. It smells good. So I'm going to let it cook up for a little while. Give it a taste. See if any of the seasoning needs to be adjusted. And then I'll... Um, Go ahead and have some soup for lunch. So, the soup is really good. Austin's playing with the cat. It's kind of sweet. Those honey nut squash are pretty sweet. And then I just had some, like, bread that I toasted up for it. It's really good. Having a glass of kombucha. Kombucha! That was Austin singing about how great kombucha is, apparently. It's the last of the bottle, so we'll see it more at the grocery store. I think we're gonna go to the grocery store in a little bit. And then take you guys along with me. If not, I'll just show you a whole of everything we get. So we were lazy and we got Taco Bell for dinner. I know, I'm better glad. Austin and I get a seven layer burrito. You guys can keep talking. Austin and I get, get a seven layer burrito with no cheese and no sour cream. I add potatoes to mine. He does not. So, they're delicious. I have potatoes and inside. You want potatoes on? Oh, yeah, he got some fries. So, yeah, that's dinner because we're lazy. And it's tasty. So, I did not film a haul when we got home from the grocery store because we also had the Taco Bell. And we wanted to just get everything put away before our food went super cold because, you know, it's like, I don't know, 9 degrees, 12 degrees, really freaking cold. So let me just show you guys some of the stuff that we got. So we got a few bagels, and I'm not going to show you everything. Like, I can go through a few things. We got red onion, we got yellow onion, um, avocados. I'm, like, looking over at the stand where I have that stuff. And then, oh, we got those. We got the day I'm making shoes to try out. So I have like kind of a, a conundrum with this. Like, obviously I want to support companies that are making vegan products, but they were bought by some other company that apparently sells animals or something. But like, do you stop supporting it because of that? Or do you make sure that your support is loud and clear so the company knows, hey, Maybe that's where we should be investing going forward versus somewhere else. There's like something on my lens. I'll have to clean that later anyway. So that's kind of the double-edged sword with vegan products. It's like you don't, well, we, well, I don't do a ton of research. So I don't go and figure out like what company is making what or who bought who. All I know is I'm going to support the things that are furthering my cause whether that company be entirely vegan or not. Because the more you buy the vegan products from companies that are not vegan, the more they see that, that product is popular and they invest in more not vegan products. So it's like weird. So we got this to try. And then we got, we got a lot of energy. Okay, we're going to go back and cheese. We got these, which apparently has data in it. I have no idea. So we got two of these, the dairy-free, gluten-free. I don't think they have a dairy-free that isn't gluten-free. These, I love to, um, so what I'll do with those is they're really nice for what we call fend for yourself nights where you kind of have to, have to figure out your own dinner. So what I do is I'll get like medium-sized pot and I'll put a good handful or two of frozen broccoli in there, a little splash of water, and I'll get that to frosting and cooking. And then when the broccoli looks mostly warmed up, because it's already cooked, I'll, instead of putting that in the microwave or the toaster oven or whatever, I'll put the whole block of that in the pan and it starts to melt down and then I just mix it up with the broccoli. Sometimes you have to add some more water just to get it moving, but 
just so good. It's one of my favorite, super simple, not the healthiest go-to vegan meals, and it's just phenomenal. So let me see what else. Let me see if I can just put you guys straight. Oh. Let me see if I can show you guys straight into the fridge. There will be some non-vegan things in here. And it's kind of a mess organizationally right now. But yeah, that's because we have Austin's mom and grandma here and they are not vegan and well, we're not gonna make them live on the street just to eat vegan products, I don't know. So I got some organic blueberries and we got the tofuti cream cheese and these vegan sausages, which we haven't tried before. These are the spinach pesto ones from Tofurky. So I can't wait to try them. We got some pomegranate and this onion looks like it needs to be thrown away. That looks really old and nasty. Okay. Got some pickles and some olives. Some more tofu, because we used all that up. They sell this in a two-pack at BJ's, which is really nice. Then we got some greens. Actually, BJ's has a lot of organic stuff, too. We got these naked juices. Austin likes to take them kind of like in the morning, just a quick pick-me-up thing. He's not a huge breakfast person, so that's good enough for him. And it has like, I think, four of the flavors. Got another kombucha since I finished that up earlier, I think. Or yesterday? No, earlier. And let's see. Got some red cabbage, some Brussels sprouts, some carrots. Got a lot of stuff. So that's most of what we got there. And I think we actually got stuff in here too. Yeah, we got another maple syrup because we're running low on that. And that's organic too from BJ's, which is really nice. And then from Giant, we got just some coconut sugar. That one's also organic. I like to use coconut sugar in baking in place of brown sugar. It's just got more of a, like a molasses-y taste. And then in here, we got some sweet potato fries, some frozen broccoli, Austin's vegan chicken nuggets. Yeah, so that's pretty much everything. Let me resituate you guys over here on the counter where I was talking to you. Oh my god, this is gonna be a shaky hot mess. I apologize in advance for how shaky and crazy that was. So, it's like 8.30, so we ate really late actually. And I think I'm just gonna make some tea for the evening. After I throw out that onion. These are just like little miso soup containers from the Chinese food restaurant. And instead of putting like, Instead of putting like cut up veggies and stuff in a plastic bag, yeah, we, why am I burping so much? I like to throw them in these. Yeah, so I'm gonna make some tea and then chillax. We're gonna watch Vanderpump Rules and that's our day today. I promise that at some point in the month of January I will film an actual grocery haul. Maybe it'll be towards the end because his mom and grandma will be gone and we won't have like non-vegan yuckiness in our hauls. So, yeah. I'm gonna make some tea. Let me pick out what tea I'm gonna make. I am going to make this licorice tea. Not because I like it, because I really am not a huge fan of this actually, but I just kind of just want to use them up so they're gone and out of the drawer. So yeah, gonna make that and then just chill. I have to go back to work tomorrow, which is depressing. So just gonna loose off, go to bed right after Vanderpump and hopefully I will see you all tomorrow morning. Cause hopefully I'll be filming again, but we'll see. Work days are no guarantee.